Whoa, four nights. Hopefully it's not too busy. What's going on in the Loop Band? It's Drew here at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. We're going to answer the one question everybody asks us, and that is, is Express worth it? So check out this video and learn for yourself. To give you an idea of how this video works, we're going to show you the wait time posted for the standby people, and then we're going to show you how long we waited in line, and exactly how long it took us before we were into the house. So let's come on inside and have some fun. First up is Halloween and it's posting a 25 minute wait. Oh man, we are starting off this event strong. We waited a minute and 30 seconds. You got to go right up into the house is where the merge point is. And we skipped 94% of the wait time. It's express at this house. All right, next up is Stranger Things, the big, big, big IP at a 75 minute wait. So Stranger Things had a pretty long line. However, we merged in with the standby line at 3 minutes and 38 seconds and then within 6 minutes and 7 seconds we were already in the house. So we waited 6 minutes and 7 seconds for a house with a 75 minute wait which means we skipped 91.8% of that 75 minute wait. Up next with a 25 minute wait, Carnival Graveyard. So this house, the standby line and the regular line both go through the Fallon Lobby queue together and then you split off after this hallway with the express and the regular line. Walking out of Carnival Graveyard, our wait time was 4 minutes and 21 seconds, which gives us a percentage of 82.6% of line skipped. So our percentage might seem a little low here, however we did skip a 25 minute wait with only a 4 minute wait, so really your percentage is not that bad there. Scary Tales falls next on our list. This one also has a 25 minute wait. Here at Scary Tales we merged at 1 minute and 11 seconds and we're in the house within 2 minutes and 48 seconds of getting in line, giving us a wait time skipping percentage of 88.4%, which to me is a fantastic number for a percentage there. One thing to note here, we have been at this event now less than an hour and we've done four houses. So far, it seems like Express is worth the money. Another big IP house this year is Poltergeist. Poltergeist currently has a 30 minute wait. Let's see how long we have to wait with Express. This one wasn't a bad wait either. We merged at three minutes and 18 seconds with the regular line, and then there was another full set of switchbacks uh, so it gave us another extra 2 minutes of our wait time, so we waited a total of 5 minutes and 18 seconds for a percentage of 82.3%. It is noted that there's also a black hallway inside, which is kind of like still waiting in line, but you're still in the sound stage, so you kind of have smells and noise that you can hear, so I didn't really consider that for this recording. However, you might still feel like you're in line before you see the really cool facade. We are in the back half of the park now, and it's time for the Blum House. House. Yes, I said that right. Well, this house is a 25 minute wait. A word of caution, this house is right next to the Academy of Villains show. So when that show is getting out, the line could be a little longer than the wait time posted. I love that this house for the most part is located right inside of the park rather than way on the outskirts. You don't have to walk forever to get to this house, which saved some wait time and also saved my tired feet. We only waited two minutes and eight seconds, which gave us an absolutely lovely skip the line percentage of 91.4%. Back to some original Horror Nights content, Slaughter Cinema, pushing a 30 minute wait here in the back of the park next to Men in Black. So we got into this house pretty quickly. A minute and 25 seconds into getting in line, we merged with the regular line, and we were in the house within three minutes and five seconds. Now one thing to note about this, there's sort of a pre-show before you get into the house. So you're watching trailers of the different movies that they're representing in this Slaughter Cinema. So that's really interesting. So you're pre-waiting after the merge is not really a bad wait because you're already still entertained by the house before you even get inside. 
pretty good skip the line ratio at 89.7% of the line was skipped with Express. Continuing on with the event, we've got Dead Exposure. Now note this is when the event started to get busier. The Dead Exposure is now at 35 minutes for its wait time. As far as merge points go, this one was great. At 2 minutes and 7 seconds from the moment we stepped in that line, we were already staring in those bright lights ready to get scared. A 93.9% uh, wait time skipped, and Dead Exposure has a pretty good express ratio. The penultimate house here on our review is Seeds of Extinction. Seeds currently has a 20 minute wait. Now, one thing to note here, this house is in a new location that they've never used before, so the queue is still being worked out and changed as the event is going on. So this could be outdated information by the time you actually attend Horror Nights 28. Oh my, oh my, what an interesting experience we got here at Seeds. So the two lines start apart. Then you come to a stop. Uh, the regular line goes while the express line is being held. And then the express line goes while the regular line is being held. Because they share a certain section of queue uh, in the access road. So that way nobody gets hit by cars or anything like that. And then you split off again. There's more switchbacks for the regular line. And the express line pretty much goes right around the corner and into the house. So that sounds great on paper. But you still wait um, over 50% of the wait time. The 20 minute house wait, I waited 10 minutes and 55 seconds with Express, giving us the worst ratio of the night at 45.4% of the line was skipped. That being said, I'm pretty sure this house was under posted. I can't prove it because I didn't wait in the regular line. But I gotta say, Express is just too expensive to only be skipping 45% of the line. All right, in our last house, posting a very large and bold, very easy to read, 20 minute wait, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat merges you on pretty early into the line. At two minutes and one second, we're merged in with the regular line. And now we have this pretty long straightaway going off before the house. And at eight minutes and four seconds, we get into the house. So still not that bad, but when the house was only a 20 minute wait, that still is a pretty bad ratio at 59.6%, giving Trick or Treat the second worst skip the line ratio of the entire event. And so ends our house to house explanation of Express, showing you how much line we actually skipped. So now to answer the big question, is it worth getting Express? Should I get Express? through and I would say if your goal is to do everything in the event in one night then absolutely you should get express check out my watch here it's 10 52 p.m. I rolled into the event at 6 57 so four hours here and I did everything so if your goal is to have fun with your friends see a couple of houses go to the show then no I don't think you need express but if you want to do everything at horror nights everything they have to offer see 10 houses, five scare zones, the show, get some beers, eat some of the Horror Nights food, buy some merchandise, then yes, I definitely think Express is 100% worth it. As you saw here, you skip so much time waiting in line. Thank you for watching this video and all of our other videos here on the In The Loop YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter, at Drew The Intern. We're on Facebook, Instagram, all of those great social medias. Listen to our podcast, and we will see you on the Midway.